I've had some interest on how I made this cold brew, uh, cold drip brewer, um, out of lab glass and what glass I've used. So I'll just quickly go through um, what I used. Um, firstly, it's, it has four pillars, uh, all with these kind of uh, wood. Um, I think it's pine or something, very cheap wood. Um, and uh, basically just use screws and um, wood glue just to put them all together and you know screw screw on the top here I did not put another piece of wood here I just used a rubber band just so that it's easy access so I can take it in and out of this um, uh, platform but uh, I never sort of fill the water up any higher than than this two uh, markers here because, as I'll mention later, the uh, book in the funnel that I bought, which is this one, 100ml, it's a little bit too li too small for uh, the amount of coffee you need, and um, I can essentially only put about 40 grams of coffee, um, which equates to around 200-250ml uh, of water. Um, which is what I've marked here. So uh, this is just a piece of rubber band, just to keep all, uh, hold it in place so it doesn't fall down. But you know it's not going to move anyway. But I did intend to. Ooh, that's a bit silly. Uh, I did intend to have another piece of wood here or so, just sort of like sort of a little lock in place with a little latch or something. But you know this will do for now. This is the uh, separatory funnel, it's 500 mil with the drop tube and um, PTFE Teflon um, stopper. That's just to control the um, drip rate. Take that out of here and show you how the w I made the uh, base, and all this is is some heat mat, cork heat mat, and a uh, glass mat. And this is fairly hard uh, place mat, whereas this is a very rubber, uh, soft cork, uh, and that is just to provide some cushion uh, for the glass. And whole roughly cut, roughly measured. So this one obviously slightly bigger than that one in terms of the whole size. And I've just made a little base here for it all to sit on so that it all doesn't just sag and fall apart. So, um, and I've also cut a bit of a groove here so that the uh, separatory final sits in there. Um, okay, so that's what that is. This is just a... Um, 500 mil uh, with a flat base um, flask, a bit of glass stopper that came with it. I'm not sure if that one came with came with, for, with a separatory funnel or, or with that, but I, I bought it all from the same uh, seller on eBay, and it ca all came from China, and it didn't cost me more than 70, 75 dollars, including delivery, and it was all delivered within two weeks or so, so that's pretty good, going from China to Australia in a very good packaging, so very happy with that. Now the important thing, that, uh, as I mentioned, is this uh, uh, Buchner funnel. You want the matching 24-29 neck, and what you want is this vacuum tube um, for a vacuum pump so that it pumps, it, um, so that the air circulates within this flask out through here so that water can will flow otherwise you put it there you're going to seal the whole thing and you know essentially no water will drip so that is important you can get it in the flask as well as long as there's air that can uh, leave now my one regret I wish this was a bigger Buchner funnel uh, 100 mil is just too small it's only going to give me 250 mil of water of coffee sorry and you know, for three hours or dripping uh, or more, it's you. You'd wish it was a bit bigger.
why not at the same time get a, a whole bigger set but you know for what it is that's good enough for me um, and that's pretty much it